So young Philly update, things are not looking well for him. We've got some legal updates about how things are going to get very complicated for him, unfortunately. Or fortunately, however you want to see it. Hey guys, it's Marab Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. Let's get straight into this. So as we know, young Philly is currently in Australia. He was extradited to Perth because there are different legal laws between the states in Australia due to horrific allegations that he is facing horrific one of them is of course you know strangulation but others are of course without consent doing many stuff to a particular woman now initially i thought it was multiple women but it's only one person that did he you know is the diddy <laughs> It's only one person that Philly is um, dealing with this. It's only one woman. Um, it's not multiple. Young Philly has reportedly secured a long-term residence in Perth. And the reason being is because he is now possibly going to be waiting two years for this trial. Meaning that Young Philly is most likely going to be detained in Australia for two years. Because he's not allowed to leave the country. He you know, gave up his passport a certain amount of money for bail all of these were strict bail conditions so that this man can maintain himself in the country and that he's not allowed to leave until the trial and sentencing is done well now clearly it's been told that he is now possibly going to be waiting two years this is how long this trial is going to take two years detained in this country also without any income because the brands have left him he's not uploading any content on social media so therefore he's not going to be earning any money which obviously means that he needs to have savings set up for him so that he can comfortably live for two years his lawyer has confirmed that he has found a place i presume an airbnb for six months of residence but two years he's now most likely going to be waiting i know trials take long i did not expect this to take long his next even hearing date or court update or legal update whatever you want to call it is going to be his next court his next legal update is in december anyways that's when he has to wait to see what goes on and he has to you know go to the police station three times a week but two years guys two years philly is facing four charges as we all know and you know shocking three counts two years guys is a very long time for this man to be detained and so it looks like the investigation is definitely going to be long something that this man does not want to do clearly a lot of things have gone upside down for him i just wonder how this man is going to financially secure himself for that amount of time and also you know it's just a lot for him to deal with a specific person has come out and they've sold the story to the son a mom has accused young philly of breaking her terminally ill son's heart after he failed to keep a promise he made to the youngster he said that he would support him and then the rapper told him to shut up and ghosted this 12 year old boy and you know he is terminally ill now my thing is this I'm so sorry that your son is terminally ill and that he's going to pass away soon. That is, you know, a very sad state of affairs. Why are you selling your story to the son and why are you doing so in this moment of time? I honestly don't understand. To me, it's very needy for you now to come to the son and say, look, fully told my son to shut up. With all due respect, this is not your son's biggest worries. Your son is terminally ill. And so I don't know why you're doing this most likely for some coin because ain't nobody giving this story away for no reason you clearly went to the sun called them up saying that this is i have a story the sun paid you and therefore the sun is masking this as an exclusive it's pointless to me i don't understand this i'm so sorry your son is terminally ill but i just don't get the gist of this story and what happened and okay maybe he was rude but for telling him to shut up and ghosting him and etc maybe you should have prioritized your son but in the young philly case this is not a priority your priority is your son and that's what you should be focusing on not sending stories about your terminally ill son for some coin I ain't buying it. I strongly despise stuff like this because it's irrelevant to the case. This is no different to the woman coming out saying, oh, you know, I dated Philly. This is my side of the story. When, beloved, you weren't even there. As we discussed before, I honestly don't understand why people like to do stuff like this. It doesn't, like, I just don't understand. Let's stick to the case and the priority of it. 
and reports obviously are stating as a reminder that the police are saying that they have shocking pictures of so much harm on this woman's body that it's impossible for it to be any, for any of it to be consensual so that's what you know they are stating they have cctv footage of you know her at his hotel leaving as well so a lot of it is corroboration but two years detained you can't leave your next update legally is going to be in december it means that you are going to be there for a very long time how is is this man going to be going broke because two years is a very long time and even then that's not even a possibility that you will even get out of the country you could then be sentenced after two years of being detained he's lucky that he was able to get bail and deal with this because if he was in custody or behind bars two years waiting for your trial that is absolutely insane what it would do to your mental health so now for him to be in this had in Perth dealing with this for two years with nobody that he knows that I would imagine I can't believe how Philly is going to maneuver through this mentally but also financially as well so it's a lot that this man is going to face to prove his innocence in the courts because it looks like this will definitely be going to trial from what we are seeing um, I can't imagine that she's asking for a settlement and he wants to settle I honestly don't know how that's going to go now chris carver the policeman who killed chris carver has been officially acquitted and he's able to be a walking free man even though that we knew that this man had killed chris carver his car was not moving it was boxed in a corner you could have shot at the man's tires but you wanted to go shoot at him when he was physically posing as no form of threat now today for some reason the way the police are moving these miser rats they found some footage of him fighting in a club a couple of days before and trying to correlate it with this even if that man was fighting in a club what the hell does that does that have to do with him being killed in his car there's no correlation did the policeman even know that he was in a rave having a fight don't, don't people have fights normally the way the media and the police are trying to corroborate this story is disgusting to me diabolical an act of injustice and people should be angry at what is going on an innocent man was killed just because he was having an argument or a fight in a rave club a couple of days before has nothing nothing to do with the fact that this man clearly was in a position where you know he was killed unfortunately his car was boxed in he was a no form of threat in any way to the policeman there was no need for this policeman to kill him and for the fact that this policeman is not being jailed for murder but has been acquitted is disgusting it's depressing honestly guys honestly we're just seeing so many young black and brown people being killed genocides all over the world 300,000 people killed in palestine we're seeing stuff like this happen on a daily it's just honestly depressing as hell i'm really going to just be honest with you guys it is depressing as hell hell but social media is so well integrated into the world now you can't really escape looking at all of this news and it does affect you mentally because it's just way too much it's way too much guys oh lord have mercy lord have mercy please let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this video do subscribe to the channel if you guys want to comment down below give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it i am in naples italy south of italy shout out to those of you who are in italy watching this if any of you are and i'll catch you guys soon for another video